In this video, I'll show you how to calculate running totals using the cumulative sum technique in Excel. In our example, we have a company's sales and costs for January to December. We want to end up calculating the cumulative year-to-date totals. To do this, we'll first calculate the individual gross profit figures by taking the sales and subtracting the costs. We can then drag this formula across for the remaining months. Therefore this has calculated the gross profits values for each month. Now to calculate the cumulative year to date profits we can use the sum function. So we type equals sum, first input C7 which contains the gross profit figure, followed by a colon and then C7 again. In other words, we're finding the total within the range C7 to C7, which is simply the value of cell C7, the January gross profit figure. Now, before we drag this formula across, we're going to add absolute references to the first part of the range to ensure that this remains static as we drag it across. Therefore, what Excel has done is calculate the cumulative total. For example, the cumulative total in February is the gross profit in January plus the gross profits in February. In March, we're adding up all the gross profits up to and including March and so on for the remaining months. Now, this is facilitated by the absolute reference, which ensures that the first part of the range is always cell C7 which is the January gross profit figure. And the second part of the range is dynamic. So that's how you can calculate year to date totals in Excel. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques and examples.